हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई विल बिगिन विथ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल दैट इज चैप्टर टू ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ एंड दीज क्वेश्चन विल बी वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर योर टर्मोन एग्जामिनेशन सो इन व्यू ऑफ योर अपकमिंग टर्मोन एग्जामिनेशन आई हैव ट्राई माई बेस्ट to give type a type of question that will generally come in section a so let us begin with the few questions for the sake of your good preparation the question number 1 electric potential difference each what is electric potential difference if you know the concept of electric potential difference then you will be able to answer it perfectly electric potential difference come to the options work done between two points work done between two points per unit charge a and b both and done in electric potential difference as you know whenever we go from this point of potential v1 to this point of potential v2 and we carry a charge q0 let us take positive charge plus q0 from point a to b where potential at is v1 potential at b is v2 then the potential difference that is v2 minus v1 is equal to work done from a to b divided by per unit charge this is the difference this is the definition of potential difference so this concept will help you in finding the answer of this mcq question so work done per unit charge that is work done between two points a and b per unit charge so option b will be correct here okay so for such questions if you know the basic concept you could answer perfectly accurately okay now let us begin the question second that is question 2 and that is given here difference between electric potential and electric potential energy before going to the options we should think about electric potential and electric potential energy i think in my lecture you have watched my lecture uh, regarding this topic i have explained fully about electric potential electric potential is what that is the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to a point lying inside the electrostatic field due to any other charge okay so work done in bringing unit positive charge this keyword is very much needed here to 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 consider now here difference between electric potential so in electric potential what was there work done in bringing unit positive charge and in potential energy another finite charge other than unity is brought from infinity to another positive charge might be positive or negative whatever be the sign the electric potential energy is the matter is the issue between two charges so in electric potential energy work done in bringing any finite charge not unit charge towards another finite charge at a certain separation then that is known as electric potential energy so in electric potential unit charge is brought in electric potential energy a finite charge towards nearby if another finite charge at a 
certain separation so now come to the option no difference there is a difference so this option will not be correct electric potential is due to a point charge obviously it is true as per definition potential energy exists between two or more charges obviously it is true between it is the issue between two charges or more than two charges so b is correct here c is correct here another option is b and c both that means in option d b and c both accuracy of both are mentioned in option d therefore option d is the true answer now come to the next question that is question number third there is an uniform distribution of positive charge plus q over a ring potential at axis at distance x is given by here is the figure a ring type of structure positive charge is distributed over a ring over ring means a ring type of structure of radius r at its axis at a distance x at point p what would be the potential what is the answer let us derive let the answer is since this is the uniform distribution of charges you cannot assume all the charges as a point charge here you have to think that a small dq charge that is a point charge here that is at a distance of under root r square plus x square because this is the length this is the distance of p from the point from the point charge dq dq is assumed to be a point charge and this point charge will give a potential at point p that is at a distance under root r square plus x square that means the potential that is smaller potential db at a distance of this much is equal to k dq by under root r square plus x square and now integrate it that means the total potential at this point p will give the value dq dq the total dq this is also constant because the distance from each point on the circular ring from this point will be equal that means this is this will be treated as constant also and this is dq the integration of dq means total charge dq that would be equal to k by under root r square plus x square into q this would be the answer that is the answer will be this much k q by under root r square plus this much now come to the question number 4 what question number 4 says question number 4 says net potential at a center at its square is what as shown in the figure there are four charges they are located are situated at the vertices of a square and they are plus q minus q plus q minus q and the side of the square is small a then what would be the potential at the center this is the question you know potential is the scalar quantity the potential due to a point charge plus q let this, this distance be r this distance will be r this distance will be r this distance will r means the distance of each charges from the center will be the same let it be r and plus q due to one b1 is equal to k q by r due to this minus q v2 k minus q by r sign will be written here because it is scalar quantity as it is you will, you will keep the value and again plus q v3 is equal to k plus q by r again v4 due to this charge at distance k q by r if you add up this all so this will be here this will be plus q minus q cancel v1 plus v2 plus v3 v4 plus v4 all after addition will give the value zero that means net v at the center will be equal to zero that means option c will be true 
Now total potential energy of the system of charges as shown means three identical charges, symmetrical charges, plus Q, plus Q, plus Q, they are located at the vertices of an equilateral triangle. What would be the total potential energy of this system? That total potential energy, as you know, that potential energy is always the issue, the matter between two charges, two, 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 mutual. Two charges means potential energy due to this and this, let that be U1. Potential energy between this and this, let that be U2. Potential energy between this and this, let that, that be U3. Then total energy U1 plus U2 plus U3. Again, potential energy is an scalar quantity. Then add up. Due to symmetrical plus Q, let that distance be here. You have to find the distance. Potential energy between this, the side is A. Potential energy between this side is A. Potential energy between this, the side, the length is A. Separation is A. Means KQ by A plus KQ by A plus KQ by A. That means total 3Q. 3Q into Q by A. Because potential energy means between this and this, KQ into Q by A. And the symmetrical, all three will be added and that will give 3 into k into q square by a. I think this option is given here 3k q square by a. This is the correct answer. So these are the five important questions of type A and such questions would be asked in your section A of turbine exam. It will be helpful for you. Okay. I think keep watching my all videos and wait for my upcoming videos. Thank you.